Hi there. I'd like to welcome you to the final video in my quick series on defining consciousness. Now, we've done a lot during the last few videos together. We defined consciousness for you. We also talked about the birth of free will and realizing the self. We discussed the three forms of consciousness, which you remember were the subconscious, the conscious, and the superconscious. We also talked about what it means to be in altered states of consciousness, like decreased awareness and hyper-awareness. We discussed the fact that consciousness is not the same as energy, and the difference between the conscious and consciousness. And then we talked about the different levels of consciousness. Now, most of us have experienced, in varying degrees, different levels of consciousness, but most people have only made it to the first few levels. What about that level of super consciousness? It's much more difficult to get there. And in order to attain higher levels of consciousness, you have to be willing to make changes. Results in life only come when direct action is taken towards achieving the goals that you want. If you really want to access higher levels of consciousness, you have to find yourself willing to put in the necessary effort so, say you're down there in the lower levels, uh, in your career, and in your relationship, you're in a higher level. You can be on different levels in different parts of your life. Of course, the goal is to get on the same level, on those high levels, everywhere in your life. So remember, is there something more to life? Yes! Are we capable of achieving something greater? Yes! But only if we choose not to hide from the developments of fear. We have to move through the fear and with the fear, moving together in a unison of understanding. We're ready. It's time to access that higher consciousness. We've realized we have huge potential. We want to develop new and profound desire. We want to raise our consciousness. First, you have to initiate the pursuit of a pure, and complete state of self-awareness. It's a choice each one of us has to make for ourselves. Just how badly do you wanna become the you that you're truly capable of being? Do you believe that you have to work hard to be successful? Well, most people would say yes. And after all, we've learned that our entire life. That's what's been drilled into our heads. The problem is that when you believe it, you start to lose yourself to the grind. You start to associate uh, success with pain and struggle. But you don't have to suffer to be successful. You don't at all. You just have to learn that your mind is the key. Everything outside of you is not. You have to go inside to make changes. And when you do that, your life will change. The first thing you need to do is understand how your mind works.